Let's do problem number 35. Which one is not a correct null hypothesis? Well, in that case, it would be B, right? B is not a correct null hypothesis. The reason is um, this little P1 and this little P2 with a little hat, it's called P1 hat and P2 hat, these are sample proportions. So those have you know, no place in the null hypothesis. The null hypothesis is always a statement about a parameter. So a parameter is a number that describes a population. So for example, here P is the population proportion. That's a parameter. Here mu is the population mean. That's a parameter. Here mu sub D is the population mean of the differences. This shows up when you do a paired hypothesis test. But all three of these, A, C, and D, are all numbers that describe populations. Those are called parameters. But B, right, B is not, right? This is a sample proportion, and this is another sample proportion. So uh, that is not a statement about a parameter. So that is not a valid null hypothesis. Kind of an interesting question. Um, it's really easy if you know that this is not something we do. Like, why do you have a P1 there? That can't be it. <laughs> um, so yeah, kind of a fun question. Good luck.